Behind a Miami Dolphins football player from Jacksonville who lost his arm in a car crash this morning. This is defensive tackle Kendrick Norton as a Trinity student on signing day back in 2014. New at six, Action News Jack's Jamarlo Phillips has been reaching out to his friends and family. And Jamarlo Norton was a standout athlete. That's exactly right, Tanika. And this is where it all started right here at Trinity Christian Academy. The 22 year old spent most of his time in South Florida. Many people know him there is playing, you know, with time playing for the University of Miami. But here in Duval County, he is recognized as an all around star athlete. 22 year old Kendrick Norton was rushed to the hospital early Thursday morning. According to our CBS affiliate in Miami, Norton was driving a truck when it hit a concrete barrier in the road and flipped over. One of Norton's arms was pinned beneath the truck. Paramedics were forced to amputate it. Norton started his career in football here at Trinity Christian Academy in Jacksonville. He was signed to the Dolphins in December after playing for three seasons with the Hurricanes. The Dolphins posted this message to Twitter saying in part, quote, Our thoughts and prayers are with Kendrick and his family during this time. Bishop Leofric Thomas also expressed his feelings. Thomas told me over the phone, Norton and his family attended his church for over a decade. We don't know how life and how God would turn things. It may look bleak, it may look glim at this time, but all things are possible. Even if he doesn't get back on the field to play, there are coaching opportunities and all kind of other things you can do as a part of athletic uh, football corporation. So we're praying for that. We just want to make him, let him get healed first and see where he goes from here. Hurricanes head coach Manny Diaz also posted on Twitter saying the University of Miami family is praying for Kendrick. Tonight, Norton is still in critical condition at Ryder Trauma Medical Center in Miami. We're also learning he is expected to survive after being one of two people taken to the hospital early this morning. We're here on the west side. Jamarlo Phillips, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.